Hello and welcome to Spirit Guides Thursday Thoughts. This is the place where you will get to hear snippets of conversations I've had with people over the years and get a variety of thoughts for you to consider for today. Enjoy! In the spiritual sense, when we talk about guides, we're talking about something a little different there, right? Yeah. What are guides? Guides are entities that are on the other side of the veil. Think of them as your spirit Sherpa (laughs) from the other side, you know? Okay. I mean, I'm the one who's here talking to you and giving you some advice on stuff around magic, but they're the people who are on the other side. So, you know, like your guardian angel. Your guardian angel is sort of the guide, right? Mm -hmm. So they'll make sure that you don't go in places that are going to be dangerous to you. Uh, But your spirit guides are actually your interface with the spirit world. And so... When you learn how to talk to them, when you learn how to connect in with them, and you learn how to communicate with them, then they can be incredibly useful. I actually have an open channel to my guides at all times at this point. I haven't always, but you know, after 20 years of practice, they talk to me, I talk to them, and it's all good. But what you have to keep in mind about guides is that they are on the other side of the veil. And so, you know, as we talked about before, they have a broader perspective. They see the future, they see the past, they see the interconnectedness of things, and they understand how things work. So they may tell you to do something that seems like this might not be the best choice. (laughs) You know, it's like, why would I not go to this meeting or why would I not do this thing? But then later you discover that it was a very good choice. I mean, if you if you look into the history books, there are a ton of people who had tickets for the Titanic, who never got on the boat. There were a ton of people who were meant to be in the Twin Towers that morning and didn't go or Mm. were running late so that they didn't make it. Those are people who were being guided. And then there's a certain percentage of people who are just not going to make it in any given case. But the percentage of people who didn't make it in those situations is much higher. Right. And, And that's the reason. How do people know that they're being guided. You mentioned that you have an open channel. You you recognize when you're receiving a message from your guide. How can people sort of tell that difference? So sometimes it's it's something as simple as you're being delayed, okay. right? If you're trying to get somewhere and there are people cutting you off and slowing you down and stepping out in front of you in traffic and whatever, there's probably a good chance that you're supposed to be late and you'll show up exactly on time. The other person is running late and they're hoping that you're going to be late too. And they're manifesting that and slowing you down or something like that. The moment of confusion, the stepping onto the train in the wrong direction, having the moment of just this clarity of, I really don't want to go. So here's an example And even now, sometimes they'll do this to me. Wednesday this past week, I was supposed to be at an all-day event that I really didn't want to go to. And normally, if I really didn't want to go to something, I would just take it off my calendar. But I was like, no, I don't want to take that off my calendar. I don't know why. I just don't want to take it off my calendar. So I had the whole calendar day blocked out because I was supposed to be going to this thing. And I really didn't want to go. And even up until the day before, I was like, okay, I've got this thing tomorrow. I'm going to go. It's in my calendar. I'm not supposed to take it out. I don't know why. Morning comes. And I had decided the night before that because of traffic, I was going to go a little late because I didn't really want to be there anyway. Right. Right. (laughs) So I'm like, yeah, I'll be there a little late. It'll be fine. Turns out a friend of mine was ended up having a major meltdown that day. Mm -hmm. Just just completely on the floor in a puddle. And I spent six hours on the phone with him that day, Mm -hmm. off and on throughout the course of the day. I would not have had that time if I had not left that on my calendar. Yep. I would have had other things booked in. Sometimes it's just that that shows up. It's just this this feeling of, no, I don't want to do that. I don't know why, but I just don't want to do that. That's an interesting thing because it, it then leads me to believe that one of the important pieces of connecting with your guides is not only sort of acknowledging that the messages are coming through, but also recognizing that those things that would be frustrating elements of your day might be intentional and purposeful and 
it sort of changes your perspective. Don't get frustrated about it. Look at what the potential cause is of this or the reason behind this is, and it may be for your benefit. You know, take an example of, let's say you were doing that interview and it wasn't the Twin Towers. It was somewhere else, but you got on the train going in the wrong direction. You're late for the interview and therefore you don't get the job. And you're thinking, oh my God, this is horrible. Well, what you don't know is that if you had gotten the job, you would have been miserable. Right. Or you would have missed the opportunity to get this other job that made you meet the love of your life. Yeah. So sometimes we think that our guides did us wrong because we haven't seen down the path yet. Mm -hmm. Right. It's like, but you, oh, I really needed that job. Right. It's our guide saying you'll understand in time. Right. Yeah. (laughs) I tell people, I'm like the first five years I started really talking to my guides. I spent a lot of that time cussing them out. Yeah. Telling them to fuck off. I'm not doing it. No, I'm not going there. You know, I'm mad at you, whatever. Right. And, and after five years, I was like, you know, I always end up doing what they want. So there's no point in telling them to fuck off. <laughs> and eventually it all makes sense. So there's no point in yelling at them. Right. And that's it for this week's Thursday Thoughts. Join us tomorrow for the Ascend Day on the Spirit Guides podcast.